All right, what up, my dudes, and welcome back to your horror movie recommendations review part 16. So, guys, this week I'm talking about eight movies that I got to watch that you guys recommended me to review. So, I'm starting with the first one. Let's go. We're starting with Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers, and that was recommended by Tree from YouTube. Thank you so much for this one, because this was a different take. So, I really, really, really enjoyed um, Frankenhooker. I thought that was super fun. But Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers took, like, a different spin on, like, a similar vibe, if that makes any sense. Anyways, they take, like, a whole film noir behind it. And so, like, you got this detective who's like, man, it was a cold Friday night. And I was, you know, looking for this young girl who's been missing. And, and there's people getting chainsawed around the city. Anyways, I love that. I love that they use that as part of their whole story. And, uh, like, it keeps you in suspense because he's trying to figure out, okay, well, like, one, where's this girl who's been missing? And two, who's this person going around chainsawing all these people? And, of course, she's this, like, super babe who's, like, always, like, boogies out and just ah, chainsawing everybody, blood everywhere. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> I really highly recommend it, especially if you enjoyed Frankenhooker. I never knew this movie existed. So thank you so much for this one. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, the effects were fun. <laughs> all right, next. The Queen of Black Magic. So this movie is tw from 2019, and it was Polodo from YouTube who recommended this one. Yo, this movie was crazy. I forget. It, it does have... It's all subtitles. I forget what background it is, guys. I, pff, I'm having a moment. But this movie's crazy. It was so good. It's all about, like, this family that goes back. They used to have an orphanage, and they're all going to visit. Um this old orphanage where they still live or whatever. And uh, spooky stuff starts happening, like, right away. You have this um, moment where, like, they're dry, Almost like when they're driving down that they hit something. You know, like, when you watch a movie and it has those, like, jump scares kind of things? This one does it, but it also gives you the mess of visuals to go with it, which I find is... I like that. Like, don't just give me cheesy jump scares because the music is good. Give me, like, weird stuff. And... There's this wicked scene in this movie where you end up seeing this whole bus full of kids. Almost like full of these like orphanage kids. And they're all messed up. And like imagine walking onto a bus and you just see a bunch of kids kind of like oh, spooky. Anyways, this movie was so good. It's like a great... Uh, I don't know. Like I, I don't want to call it like an exorcist style movie. Or like a ghost story movie again it's the queen of black magic right and i don't want to spoil anything but <laughs> this one it's like you end up finding out that this house again was an orphanage and there was a girl who was basically treated poorly and mm, we're talking revenge baby we're talking some crazy revenge and it's it's scary this one is genuinely scary they use so many freaking you know how like fulci always uses um uh, maggots it's like this one, they're using all these like millipedes or centipedes. I always forget the name. The one with too many legs. The one with too many legs and they're fuzzy looking. And like coming at people's mouths. And ugh. Anyways, the effects are ridiculous. It's so well done. Highly suggest this movie. So thank you so much for recommending that one. I'd seen it so many times on Shudder. Like the thing. And I was just always like, eh, I'll keep looking at other stuff. So I'm super glad you told me to watch this one. Okay, next one. Alone in the Dark, recommended by Galloway. Well, <laughs> Dr. Loomis is back again. <laughs> I really enjoyed this movie. So if you guys haven't seen this one, Alone in the Dark is about these, um, well, Dr. Loomis is one of them. <laughs> it's like a psychologist, psychiatrist dude, like a doctor in a mental institution, I guess you'd say, or like an insane asylum-ish. And this new guy moves into town and he starts working alongside Dr. Loomis. And basically, they're dealing with, there's like these three that are like the craziest, and uh, they're dealing with them, and of course, everybody else on the floor. But right away, for some reason, these crazy dudes are like, oh my god, did, did this guy kill our other doctor? Like, we liked our other doctor, and they're basically like, well, we're gonna get out and mess up his family. So there's this like, it's, it's very, um, like, you know what's happening right away, but it's the suspense and like the buildup behind it. Like, there's these awkward moments. Um, the doctor, not Dr. Loomis, the other guy, 
has like a young daughter and like there's a moment where she's confronted with like one of these guys and you're just like oh no oh no 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 it reminds me of um in the movie ah uh, flip guys cape cape fear when he sticks his thumb in her mouth you know like that really weird moment you have these awkward moments in this movie too like that um this movie was not so much scary the concept is scary you know, nobody wants, like, people on the loose, like, coming to hunt down their family. Um, but it was, it was more of, like, an entertaining kind of vibe, is if that makes sense. Like, the Queen of Black Magic, I was like, this is, this is spooky. This one was like, this is Dr. Loomis. <laughs> it's good stuff. <laughs> Put it that way. <laughs> All right, next. <laughs> Thank you for that one. I enjoyed it. <laughs> you know what? Guys, by the end of this whole season, I should be able to watch all the Dr. Loomis movies. It should be a thing. <laughs> all right. We got Host. So Host was recommended by Victoria Madrano. Thank you so much. I have seen... I saw this movie at the beginning of the pandemic, actually. And, like, I remember, like, you brought it up, and I was like, okay, I have to rewatch this. This movie is the perfect little ghost Zoom party. I guess it's the best way you could call it. I remember watching it and being like, literally like, okay, like this is a new version of a slasher using technology and all that stuff. But they did a really good job. They did a really good job. And it's all about, you know, they do a seance. They're all on Zoom together. And then stuff starts happening. And it's the way it's filmed. You feel it. Like, we all went through the pandemic together. I don't know about you guys, but, like, we definitely did little Zoom parties with our friends or, I don't know, there was some game that we were able to play and all see each other's screens. But imagine you start seeing messed up shit like that. No. No. No thanks. <laughs> Especially when we're all stuck inside. Like, you can't leave, right? This movie does it so well, and I highly suggest it. Even if it seems tacky from the cover guys it's actually a well done one so thank you again for pushing me to rewatch that one i enjoyed it <laughs> all right then we got la lorena la 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 lorna i i'm the worst eh la lorona yorona la lor i always thought it was la lorena anyways yes <laughs> i watched that one the 2019 slash 2020 version one that is on shutter and this was recommended by King Need Gore from YouTube. So this movie, to me, was a great... It's a good ghost story. I wasn't terrified by it, but it's like... They really get you in the zone of, like, you have this family. Uh, there's some kind of high-up politicians. And they're dealing with all this craziness outside. Because all these families are against them. They're saying that, you know, their families cause genocide, this and that, and all this crazy shit. Um, and they're obviously some... Like, royal, high-up politicians. Anyways. But, like, they get what's coming to them. And it's basically you start having, you know, this freaking demon girl who's haunting them. And just, like, messed up stuff starts going around the house. And just weird vibes. This movie, like, I don't know if this is the one you want me to watch. Because I've heard that there's a bunch of these movies. And some are better than others. So, confirm with me if this is the one I was supposed to watch. Because, again, I've seen so many... Others pop up, and I'm like, did I watch the right one? This, this one was spooky, but it wasn't, like, terrifying, you know? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay, next. The Hollow, recommended by Vincent Demers. Vincent Demers, you're on here twice this week, so we're starting with this one. The Hollow was so good. I've never heard of this movie before, and it just recently got posted on Tubi, which is awesome. And... Uh, Legit, guys, so this is like, a, I want to say an Irish folklore type movie. Um, this family moves into this house, and like right away there's like bars on the windows and stuff, and you know, like the wife's trying to take those off, and like renovating, and like the husband's like, you know, he, he does something with insects. He's some kind of dude who likes looking at trees, but he keeps going in the woods, and people are like, yo, don't go in there. Like, you're messing with like the fairies and like the things. And obviously they kind of like brush it off, like whatever, you know, there's, there's no such thing as legends like that. And they have a baby. Yeah, they have a young kid. And like the neighbor keeps trying to go over to warn the dude to stop going in the woods, whatever. They keep blowing it off. Weird shit starts happening. This movie 
is very well done. And, like, the demons in it are super good. Um, it's one of these things where I'm like, how come we haven't heard of this one? Like, why didn't this hit theaters? It was actually that good. And the premise is kind of terrifying. You're like, what? It's it, There's like a moment in the movie where they're like, oh my God, can you make this stop? And it's like, we warned you. Like, we warned you not to go in the wits and, you know, you have a baby. That's exactly what they want. So you're just like, ah, ah. Anyways, definitely worth the watch. Definitely worth the watch. And thank you so much for opening up my eyes to that one. Now, the second one you would recommend to me, I think I like this one better. Because I love a good messed up psychological thriller. So The Canal. The Canal is also streaming right now, I think, on Tubi. It's on Tubi or Amazon. Man. Okay, so this movie, I watched so many, you know, sometimes you watch so much shit that it all just meshes into one. So, like, guys, bear with me. <laughs> the Canal is similar vibe. So, like, you have this family that buys this beautiful old home. Um, and basically, the dude uncovers some old film and stuff, and you just see, like, some weird apparition in the corner. You kind of, like, see some messed up shit on the film. Um, anyways, it kind of, like, shows you that. So, like, you're like, oh, this is gonna be a spooky haunted house movie. Right away, you get thrown into the situation where he basically sees his wife cheating. Okay? And, like, you don't suspect this movie to take that turn, and this turns into a messed up, like, psychological thriller. The camera work is so good in this. You have him, like, having this... Like, you get to see this man break down. But at the same time, you know, he's like, is my house haunted? Is this a demon that's doing this to me? Is this a... Is there something messed up going on behind all this? And of course, you know, is a detective going to listen to you and be like, oh yeah, it's a ghost. It's a ghost who's messing with your life, you know? Like... Yeah, I don't want to spoil anything because this movie was like a really awesome mind trip and visually it was fantastic. You have to see it and let me know what you guys think about that one because like, ugh, it was good. It was really good. But one of those movies again that like you finish watching and you're like, wait, what? <laughs> like, what? what? And it was just cool. Like adding those two concepts together. I like, I really enjoyed that because I love a good mystery, but a good spooky haunted house thing is cool too but it almost focused more on like the psychological aspect of it all rather than just like ooh, there's a ghost you know anyways it was really good all right last movie i'm just gonna talk quickly about this one because i'm talking about sleepaway camp 2 okay now i'm only shouting this out because trash heat podcast had me on last week and I think it's being released this week I will share it with you guys on my YouTube community wall uh, once it's up and on my Instagram and whatnot but we got to do a podcast specifically on Sleepaway Camp Tube to end their little summer you know movie reviews and I had never seen this movie which is like silly right because like Sleepaway Camp is a great film I love Felissa Rose and like I don't understand why I never saw the second one it's, you know, sometimes, like, you hit movies and you're like, oh, I thought that was it. And it's like, no, there is a number two. And the number two is so fun, guys. It's more of, like, a, like slap down comedy. Whereas the OG was, like, you know, the OG was pretty serious. But if you're looking for a fun time and you've never seen it and you just want to see a bunch of kids get slashed, also wicked cock rock, like, 80s hair metal music, watch it. <laughs> and again, I'll be sharing the review that we did together. These dudes are so funny. It's just, it's awesome hearing different people's opinions, right? Kind of like what I love with what you guys do down in the comments and we all talk about it after. That's kind of like the best part is just seeing what you, what's all going on in your brains about these movies. <laughs> Anyways, that sums it up, my dudes. <laughs> Until next time, I still have a solid big list from you dudes, so... I'll probably be good, but write down things anyways. If anything comes to mind that you see that's epic, put it down in the comments so I can pop it on my review list. Thank you guys so much. If you're subscribed, of course, thank you. And if you're not, you'll get on it. You get to see me make tons of things and talk about movies. That's what's most important, right? We, we like movies. Movies are good. All right. <laughs> Have a wicked rest of your week. <laughs> see ya.